trucks set out to stabilize Eastern DRC. They noted that while the force generation and deployment are in progress, the political track is being re-energized towards a comprehensive solution to the protracted security situation. They reviewed the recent developments in Northern Kivu, particularly the resurgence of violence, which has undermined the gains that had been made. The local armed groups had initially offered to lay down arms in return for peace and urged all parties to join in the quest for lasting peace in Eastern DRC through the Inter-Congolese Dialogue. The meeting further called on all foreign armed groups to return to their respective countries of origin unconditionally. The next session of dialogue will commence on the 15th November 2022, Nairobi, Kenya. <coughs> the session will also bring on board traditional leaders, the leaders of the local communities. The meeting underscored the need to uphold inclusivity by ensuring the participation of all stakeholders. The consultative meeting agreed on a roadmap for implementation of the political track towards a sustainable solution to peace and security in Eastern DRC and encouraged continued complementarity engagement between the e East African community-led process and the Luhada process to ease tension between the brother states of DRC and Rwanda. Further, the consultative meeting appreciated the republics of Burundi, Kenya, and Uganda for the timely deployment of troops and urged other con troop contributing countries to expandize their deployment. <coughs> 